Hello. I was going to say, and we're live then. We're, we're not live. Sorry. <laughs> I've got on some uh, chill drive lo-fi hip-hop. And the, uh, the kind of, the film that they put in with it, because this is on YouTube, is just Homer Simpson driving with a lovely pink and purple sky. And I've got a lovely pinky drink. Mm -mm. That is Vimpato. Um, passion fruit flavour. It's rather yummy. Mm. So I've got some, ooh, look, some little treats in here today. Uh, someone said to, um, to me today, like, do something that, that you know, that gives you joy, brings you joy. So I like making these videos. So I figure I'd do this today after I spent all day doing item specifications on eBay. I'm now down to 47. Anyways, let's make a start, shall we? First of all, do you like this? It's a cool ring, isn't it? It's, um, not going to focus. Why won't you focus? Anyway, it's just a bit of glass. It's uh, it's not silver, it's not gold or anything. It's just nice. So um, it was from a lot of rings that I bought, but I uh, decided to keep this one because I liked it. Because again, perks of the job. Another ring. This one, I'm not sure what it's made of. I mean, by the grain, it looks like wood, dyed wood, but I don't, I'm not sure could it be like I don't know. I almost thought it was coconut for, for a little while. I know it's very tactile anyway. It's quite cool, as in cool to the touch. I don't know, maybe is it a resin? But it feels carved on the inside. But I just think the shape of it is really lovely. And it sits quite nice too. That's quite the. Uh, the fighting ring there, I think. Got a lovely sparkly atomic sun. Or like a starburst. Isn't that super cool? Look, proper catches the light, doesn't it? That's proper sparkling. If only you could take that in a photo, just get like that bit. That dazzling bit. Ooh, that's lush. Uh, no maker on there. This tiny little bale there, so you could possibly have that as pendant as well. I think that would be fab on a necklace, wouldn't it? What do you reckon? Cool as truck. Speaking of suns, first of all, when I saw this, I didn't know what it was. I was like, is that a medal or something? Um, stamped on the back. Seagull Canada, 1993. This is pewter, and this is a bookmark. And I know this is meant to be just like your shiny jewellery bits, but I just thought that was dead cute. Nice and summery. These don't go for much. Someone is selling them brand new on eBay for like a pound or two, which I think is a shame. I think they're worth more than that. So I won't be selling this one. I'm going to give this one away to one of you guys. Um, because it's a bookmark, I think it should be something book related. And because it's sun, I think it should be something summertime related. So why don't you tell me what, uh, what will be a good book to read over the summertime? What reminds you of summer? And, um, I'll just pick one at random and you'll get a bookmark. Because I can't be bothered selling it, that would be silly. These are the kind of bits of jewellery I think look ace. Um, worn at summertime with a nice long flowing dress. You always sound like a right hippie. But you know what I mean? It's a bit that of that festival-y kind of look. This, again, is really lovely and tactile. You feel like you can rub it and wish for luck. I think this is a bit of pewter again. Yes, this is. This is signed in here. Don't know if you can see that. 
computer designed, produced by um, E. Chris Christopherson, Norway. But I really like that. Bit of pewter. I think that's really good fun. Nice brutalist kind of style. Lovely size cuff as well. Right, nice. That's my kind of summertime wearing. Do you want to see a kitty cat? I know you do. I got this because uh, I thought it was one cute because it's a cat and two because it's signed. It's got a name on it. And I like to buy things that have got names on them. No, it's not a big name. It's not particularly collectible, I don't think, but it is super cute. And I really liked its construction with the layers of plastic. Reminds me of um, Leah Steen or Leah Stein. But I think that's a cool kitty. And some nice chain on there as well with the gold ring stations. I just think that's ace. I mean, I'm always going to be persuaded to buy a cute little kitty cat, aren't I? Which reminds me, my friend Catherine, she gets two kittens in a couple of weeks' time. And we're all so excited. Love kittens. She's getting two of them, little calicos. A little boy and a girl. These I got at the weekend when I was down with Carla. Um, I did pay up on them, but I thought they were really nice. This lovely kind of sea wave, almost Celtic looking as well. These are sterling silver, and on the back, just there, is SG, and that's C gems. Um, so they do some nice silverware, they also do some really nice um, enamel stuff as well. So look out for them, they're quite collectible, and very pretty. Mm, what's this? Oh, how cute is this? It's a little stork carrying a baby. A wee baby. Again in sterling silver. But isn't that cute? Really lovely detail in there. Of a tiny baby. I think that's super sweet. I can't see a maker's mark or anything on there. So I don't know how old it is or anything. Yeah. But I just thought that was dead cool. I don't actually find babies that cute, but I do find tiny things cute. And this is a bracelet for tiny baby. Again, in sterling silver. But it's just so small. So small. Not a chance. <laughs> but I do find small things cute like that Winnie the Pooh one I found the other week and I had all like impressions in there this is just a plain one see it's super tarnished but that'll shine up really nice this one's a bit of a heavy one I think it might be handmade but the uh, Slytherin in me couldn't resist. So we've got an entwined snake set in resin with like gold flakes all around it. See, that's glued on there or set in resin on the back there. So I think this must be handmade. Maybe some kind of brass bit from a watch or from a clock or something it's really well done very steampunk very Slytherin do you want another snake? go on then you can have this snake he wants to let go these type of things I've had a few times I think it's a uh, carved wood 
but I've had one that's been coral before, black coral. Probably with like a mother of pearl inlay there. But very art deco. Seen these in a few colours and I've had it in plastic as well, really early plastic. They're not that um uncommon, so I have had a few of them. But they fetch a couple of pounds because they're quite unusual. And especially when they're in good condition like this one. And in black, which is always a nice colour. Black goes with everything, doesn't it? These beads I thought were absolutely beautiful. But on first look I thought they were glass, but then... If you look closer... I think might be some quartz and possibly some moonstone because it's just got that little flash of iridescence every so often on the slightly whiter ones you can sometimes see a little bit of purple in there and I love that they graduated as well see it's like graduated on both sides So you could wrap it round or wear it long. Again, super duper lovely and tactile. I'm not sure what the metal is. I haven't tested it to see if it's silver, but I think I can just see a little hint of copper in there. So it's probably um, silver or copper or brass. But just lovely beads, I think. I'm having a few things restrung pretty soon because the uh, jeweller that fixed my pendant, they said that they've got the, someone that does restringing for them. So I am going to take in a couple of things, one of which I'll show you at the end of this because I think it's worth restringing. How cool is this ring? See, it's a little glass i think it's glass like uh almost like a button shape with tiny tiny little fragments of beads and things in there so it kind of works almost like an hourglass and just moves around in there what's the brand it's called pylons and they sell for decent money when you get a nice pretty one like this one i think it's a lot of fun anyway isn't it But an unusual brand, I'd never heard of it before. And I picked it up because I thought it was just weird. And it is. And people like that. Sometimes being weird is okay. What next? <gasps> I've been playing one of these from, um, for myself over the weekend. It's a tiny violin. <laughs> But isn't that super cute? Handmade, out of really lightweight wood, and then just a pain glued on the back. Bling, 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 bling. Is it a violin or a viola or a cello? Cello. Not quite sure. But it's cute enough anyway, isn't it? I like musical instruments. <gasps> I could get the Sylvanian families to play in a little band. Gonna see what's in the box. Studley's Jewellers Wells. Now I've been to Wells and I know that that jeweller is probably quite nice because Wells is a really nice area. Um, we recorded some of a TV series there and we stayed in a really lovely hotel um, on one side of the road and on the other side of the road nearest the cathedral. They'd actually bought one of the houses there and knocked it down so that the hotel could have a view of the cathedral, which I thought was quite cool. But yeah, from there, just a tiny little pair of silver studs, little horse's heads. Nothing threatening about that at all, is it? A <laughs> couple of horse's heads. But I thought they were super, super, super cute. I think uh, some little girl that dreams of having a pony We'll be very disappointed to get them instead of a pony, but there we are. <laughs> Never mind, can't have everything. What next? OK, 
Okay, should we do two cats in a row, seeing as we're on a, an animal theme? How cute and sparkly is this one? Lovely abstract cat shape. A nice chain with a little toggle clasp. Do you know what? I haven't checked to see if it's gold plated or anything or gold. I haven't checked for marks. Wouldn't it be mad if it was gold now? It's not going to be. But you'd be surprised at the things that you'll find that just look like cheap costume. And sometimes, just sometimes, they end up being gold. Looks can be deceiving. But I think that's a lovely sparkly kitty cat. Really pretty. Put the cat next to the kitty cat. And let's have another one. Another kitty cat. Look. Isn't that cute? Cute, the string. Oh. One does it fit on? Look at that. Lovely green eyes and little whiskers. I love that. I'm going to carry on wearing that one, I think. Ooh, how about a little bit of help, please, if you don't mind? What kind of stone do you think that is? That's some crazy, almost volcanic kind of colours there. Set in sterling. Probably handmade, judging by like the little spirals and that. That's a really unusual stone. I mean, I'm going to say jasper because it's either jasper or agate or quartz. Everything is one of those, really. But look, a fabulous detail in there. It almost be like a volcanic beach if there's such a thing. Just so unusual. I love it. Let's get this big beastie out, shall we? Gonna need to make more space. Now this what do you reckon? Etruscan style? with Madonna's boobs there at the end. I think this is ace. Again, very summertime kind of cuff bangle. Lovely and chunky. Something very tribal, ethnic, all of your other keywords. But yeah, definitely got that Etruscan kind of feel. I don't think it's a precious metal. I think, it, if anything, it's probably a low grade. But it's still gorgeous. This one is a precious metal, but I didn't think it when I picked it up. Um, I thought it maybe might have been a pewter or something. But gorgeous rose detail on it. Again, something that you just want to like rub and take a little bit of the shine off. Or rather put a bit of the shine on. Lovely texture on there. I want to get that kind of texture on uh, some of my rings. Maybe I'll take like a little impression of this. But yeah, I thought it was really nice. The clasp is really nice as well. Um, and it is signed in there or has got at least marks in there. I think it's um, slightly lower grade silver. I think it's like an 800 or an 835, something like that. And I think it's Polish as well. I've looked looked it up and I found one on eBay, but someone had like completely whitened it. You know, they shined it up too much and it looked almost, I don't know, it looked bizarre. I like it looking like this with the darkening, just like, Polish it a little bit, and it really shows off some of the lovely texture. I absolutely love that. Another animal? Go on then. Now what on earth is that? Can you see it? See, it's got like, the sides, it's gills. 
Is it a snake that does that or some kind of lizard? You see he's got a long tail and I think those are his legs behind him and then there at the front. And he's holding like a blue opal there. How bizarre a creature is he? And why would you make a pin out of him? Maybe it's an Australian thing? What do you think? An odd chap anyway. Ooh, go on, let's have a little bit of gorgeous art deco-ness. Now I ordered a book not so long ago, coming from America, cost me £55 for this blooming book, but it's because it specialises in European beaded jewellery and I tend to find things like this, not a lot, but every so often and I think, oh that's got to be made by someone, you know, someone well known. Some kind of French designer, perhaps, <laughs> or German, Austrian. But there's some lovely crystals in there, some lovely cut glass. I just imagine that being in Downton Abbey, you know? So yeah, hopefully that's gonna be a something, some kind of designer, some fabulousness. Okay, I need your help on this one again. This I picked up again when I was with Carla, I think. And I got it because I just like the pendant. I think that's fun and a little bit of velvet, something very 90s about it. And it's signed as well, but I don't know who that is. Now it looks like a peacock, a very kind of abstract peacock. So I don't know if you can see it there. But it's kind of oval shaped. And there's the body in the middle and then feathers around the outside. So I don't know who that is, but if you may want to hazard a guess, I would appreciate. Where are we going next? Oh, this is something that I really like and I was wearing the other week. I do love a gothic cross. On a nice box chain. Look at that lovely box chain. Real craftsmanship. And then a lovely sterling silver cross with marcasite and possibly onyx in there. But that's right smart, isn't it? That's gorgeous gothicness. Look at the little spike details. Just holding the bits of onyx in. Lovely bale on there as well. Maybe one day. But I think that's gorgeous. Would you like to see a bit of history? Now I know it's mad, but I've never seen a proper medal before. Like, I've seen them, but I've never had one. And it does feel strange. This is a Great War. The Great War. So First World War, see, 1914. Um, 1918. Um, yeah, George V medal. So this is for participating. This is for, um, uh, for service. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It just feels strange. And especially because as well, this is, you know, this was someone's. So this is for E.R. Leslie, boy, one R.N. quite, I don't know, makes me want to actually look them up and uh, I don't know, bit of history and it's just strange to think that sometimes you can hold that bit of history isn't it, like who was that person as well, I hope they did okay. This is super lovely. This is a little bit of silver that I got when I was in Port Talbot the other week and really reminds me of like angel wings. Again, it just feels so nice. Lovely and smooth. 
It's so delicate. Just stamped there on the end. It almost looks, it's got a bit of a Scandi feel to me, a little bit Jensen. I think it's really nice. I think everything is really nice. Everything I put in these, including this cute little dude. Oh, little copper bird. Cutie. <laughs> it's just a little brooch. Right. Got a few little bits left. Shall I show you a chunk of plastic? No, oh, I like this plastic because it was green. But isn't that weird? I thought this was going to be a Jackie Brazil, the Sobral, but I cannot. There's normally like a little, she stamps a little something in. I can't find anything. But doesn't mean it's not, but it could be a in the style of maybe a good proxy for one. But I really love the shape on there. Something almost a bit Kubrick about it as well, but then that's just me and my weird imagination, isn't it? I think everything is like Kubrick. It's either Kubrick or Wes Anderson in my mind, or a bit Bjork. So I'm gonna have to make a space because there's a very big necklace gonna come out next. Look at this dude. Oof. Gorgeous. What do you reckon? Like a phoenix? Or I suppose could be a, a peacock because of the colours with the green and the blue. I did a Google image search on this and found one in America. They said it was 1960s, which I can kind of believe. I just love the way he's got these little dangly details <laughs> and the articulated tail. It's a shame the head doesn't move, I think. I think I would have liked for the head to move, but I think he's got a fab shape. To me, he's less uh, peacock and more thunderbird kind of shape. Phoenix, rising from the ashes. Okay, last three bits. And these are again, quite cool and unusual. So be prepared. Number one, it's this fab little bit of gold. And I found this in a charity shop. I thought it might have been gold because I just saw the colouring on that, even though that bit is more silver. But I thought, hmm, that bit there looks like gold. And I like that it's snakes. So again, it's snakes holding this lovely big chunk of stone, which I haven't tested yet. Maybe glass, but I'm really wanting it to be amethyst. But that's a heck of a chunk if it is, so it probably is just glass. But I love these spinners. I had a fob one like this and I thought that was dead cool. But yeah. Nice and it's got full hallmarks on there as well, full UK hallmarks. I was quite pleased with that find. Second to last bit is this dude. And he was a bit of a surprising find because I just thought it was some strange ceramic pendant. And then I did a Google image search and I found some similar things. And I found out that this is by Compton Potteries, Arts and Crafts. And uh, this is actually St. Michael. I thought St. George at first, but it's a very tiny dragon. <laughs> no, apparently this is St. Michael. And some have sold at auction for £150. Mental. Some have sold on eBay as well from about £80 onwards. But I was going to throw that into a pendant slot and hope for the best. But I'm glad I, uh, I looked into it a bit more. Because that's so weird. But very cool. I'm pleased with that find. Hmm. Where are we going to put this last one? have to move you over a bit for the space for the last one. So I was talking about restringing earlier and this is one of the ones that I want restringing because it's got 
a row of pearls. And you see there, that makes me think that any minute now, that's gonna give way. So these are some fresh water pearls. But look at this pendant. Isn't that utterly beautiful? So this is sterling silver. And then there are amethyst in there. There's moonstones, another pearl enamel. And then I think these might be either glass or spinel, or maybe even a topaz. I can't remember checking on those. But isn't that just absolutely glorious? I think possibly French. I can't see any proper hallmarks on there. But look, see how it's nearly giving way there and I don't want it to. It'd be such a shame. But yeah, I'm going French on this one. Such beautiful stones in there. Such beautiful detail. Gorgeous shape, almost like a butterfly. But more like, I don't know, some kind of strange dragonfly with three eyes. No, that's just weird, Lex. But, oh, just lovely. And again, so tactile, but I'd be so scared that these pearls are going to come off that I haven't worn it yet. I haven't even tried it on, haven't even undone that on it. So that's going to be one of the ones I get restrung. And... I think totally worth it. Right, that's your lot for today. Thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed. If there is anything that you kind of fancy, that you like the look of and you want to treat yourself to, just message me on the email address in the box underneath this and I'm sure we can sort something out. Don't forget to let me know as well um, what book you might recommend for the summer, for good summertime type feelings and um, whichever one gets picked up random, I'll send them this lovely little sun-shaped bookmark just for you. Right, thanks very much and I shall see you all again soon. Bye-bye now, bye-bye.